Hello, I'm Taffy Aria, CEO of Gila Regional Medical Center. We have a special approach to care here that you won't see at a lot of other hospitals. Because we've been serving the people of this community for more than 130 years, we have a special connection. To us, they're more than patients. They're neighbors, friends, family. It makes for a different relationship than the usual doctor-patient one. It goes deeper. It feels warmer. Because a place where the lifestyle is this special deserves a hospital this special. We're really intimately intertwined here in the community. So, you know, when they talk about six degrees of separation, that doesn't happen in Silver City. So, um, you know, but the nice thing about that is you hope every provider is going to treat a patient like they would if it was their mom or their sister or you know, a relative coming in. And that's how I try to approach every patient. Um, and it, it really is, it's an honor and a privilege. I mean, if you get to come into a community like this and people are willing to trust you with their own care or their loved ones, I mean, you definitely have to, you know, really take that to heart. Silver City's 10,300 population to have a hospital that has this many uh, services available right here and locally and close by is important. In the year 2017, I had three proactive, preemptive procedures done um, that you know maybe I would have had to have gone out of town, which would have made it an inconvenient. I think it's imperative to have uh, your hospital uh, decisions be made locally uh, because if somebody's living a couple hundred miles away how do they know uh, how to address your issues um, and, and they may be dealing with other hospital systems uh, again it's more one-on-one -on -one and personal here so my perspective is it helps to be able to make those decisions here locally I don't want to lose the community hospital for several reasons. Um, business related, um, I am worried about you know them outsourcing outside of Silver City to get their services done because um, there is obviously there is a there is that option, and um, so I'm hoping that um, we stay community because I, I really like where things are. Um, the second thing is is I am worried about the decisions. Um, that is a major concern. You know, making decisions 100 miles away. Um, will not be in the best interest of what we have here. Hospitals run and adapt to new situations better if you can go directly to the person who makes the decisions rather than going through multiple layers um, of administrators and other people that want to have input. If decisions are made locally, they're in response to the conditions and the kind of patients that you have and the problems or challenges that the community faces. Whereas distant decisions are really are often sort of irrelevant to the clinical scenario that I'm addressing. Our commitment to providing the best care possible to the people of this region has paid off. iVantage Health has recognized us in the top 100 in rural and community hospitals in the nation for excellence in healthcare and patient satisfaction. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have named us a four-star hospital and our cancer center and surgical center are known around the region for their innovation and excellence. The county hospital bought the sisters hospital out and, uh, and they purchased that and so then we got down to one hospital and, and that went along for a few years and then the county commission got tired of operating a, a hospital, it's very difficult to do that. And, uh, and, and what they did is they put, the, hosp they put our, the hospital up for sale. And in my opinion, that's been a, was really a downfall in our community when that happened. Really about the only people to really prosper out of all this has been the helicopter industry because they air freight everybody out of town. And uh, all they do is fly people to Albuquerque or Lubbock. I, for one, advocate very strongly for the local decision making. And the reason why I advocate so strongly for it is because local decision making deals with real events that are happening in real time. It's not about corporate profits. It's about care to our citizens, care to my faculty, care to my staff, and care to my students. 
When I go out recruiting, one of the number one reasons people choose to move here is because we happen to have a hospital. And I do not, for one, want to see that health care diminished, not by the dollar sign, not by some out-of-county out of corporation claiming that they're going to have all the answers, claiming that they can get efficiencies through economy of scale. I want that health care to be controlled right here by my county, by my county commissioners, who I get to vote for, who I get to go say, here's what I need, and who I get to be responsive to them and them to me to form a community partnership. Yeah, I think if we lost our, our hospital to a, a corporate entity, we're going to lose that uh, sense of, of care, uh, that personal touch that we've been known for. Uh, and we hear that all the time about how people aren't just a number. You're not just uh, someone, you're a part of this community. The hospital is a huge part of our community. And to lose that, to have it restructured in another way, just doesn't make sense. I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You can adjust things. And I agree, that's what we need to do, but I also believe we need to have transparency. We don't need to have outside groups coming and telling us how we can broker our hospital. We need to work together, as we always have in the past, resolve the situation, and keep it ours. And I had an unusual experience. I was Dr. Ratliff's patient, and I came into this hospital for a uh, stress test. Had a heart condition I really wasn't aware of, and I actually flatlined right here in the hospital. Luckily, Ratliff's crew was there, bumped me, got me going again. I'm so fortunate to have Dr. Ratliff here in a local hospital where I can get supervision. I don't have to go far away. I don't have to go to Phoenix. I don't have to go to Albuquerque. So I really support a local hospital setting. Today's modern world of uh, big business, medicine, etc., you, you have to realize what a special place this is that can provide that personalized care and yet also high quality, very high quality at the same time. This is a community hospital owned by the community and as soon as you take that away you're never going to get it back and um, it's, a, it's really a special place and it's becoming more and more rare these days in the United States. Commissioners really need to to look at the implications of their decision. A lot of our doctors are independent and so if a for-profit uh, corporation came in here that would change our medical staff dramatically uh, and unfortunately we have a couple of our specialists that have experienced for-profit health system and they've already stated that they would leave if a for-profit comes here. And that's that unique thing about Southwest New Mexico. A for-profit trying to put doctors here be almost impossible. And that we see when we recruit doctors, it's key that the physician really likes it here and the spouse. And I don't see for-profit being able to put doctors in our area. We still take great care of patients. We still have great people that we want to take care of of our family members, of our community members, and everybody wants to sit down and talk about the community. Let's start being a community. Let's take care of each other. Let's quit sitting here and pointing fingers at who's to blame. We're all to blame. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So let's all start being part of the solution. Let's change things. My opinion would be if we have the capacity to make this hospital financially stable at the local level, we don't need outside help. We can make this happen. That's what I feel needs to happen. We understand the history of this place, the diversity, the towns, and the people who live in them. And our mission is simple, to continue providing them with the best care in this region. That's the kind of care you won't find anywhere else. It's care that comes from the heart.